joining us right now to talk about the self-made human body cheese project is microbiologist Dr. Christina Agapakis. Christina. Christina. What am I, what are we smelling up here? Because this just doesn't smell, smell right. What you're smelling is uh, is the work of bacteria who are chewing up some of the milk, proteins, and fats, and sugars, and they're producing uh, a lot of interesting smells that we can smell. Wait, wait, but these are bacteria that come from our toes? Exactly. <laughs> so, so literally, this is truly toe cheese. It, yes, in a way, yeah. This, this one, actually, in particular, is made with bacteria collected from toes. That one? That this one, one, That yeah. one looks the worst. And, <laughs> You can see that there's not just bacteria, but also fungus that's growing on the rind. That's what you, you smell. <laughs> can I just say, Christina, I'm a gynecologist. It takes a lot to gross me out. I like, I need like a bucket. Now, Jen, I, Jen, I have to ask you, Jen, would you, be, would you be more comfortable with this cheese if it was your husband's bacteria from his belly button? <laughs> The idea behind this project is really to show that actually um, cheese bacteria and body bacteria sometimes are very similar. Um, and a lot of the times when you have a stinky cheese that might smell like toes, that's because the same bacteria that live on your toes are also living in Wait, the cheese. Wait, Christina, in hold for us to understand this, you have to tell to us a little bit about how cheese is even made in the first place. Cheese is basically delicious rotten milk. So you start with fresh milk, um, and there's either can be bacteria in the milk naturally, or you can start with sterilized milk, pasteurized milk. Oh, that get sounds better. <laughs> um, and so those bacteria that, it, that you add into the milk or can be there naturally will start to chew up the bacteria, uh, chew up the sugars, mm -hmm. and they make acid. Um, and that acid curdles the milk. And those curds are what you then can press into to make the cheese. So you press them into cheese. Mm -hmm. So is it possible that some of the bacteria that are making the human cheese are similar to the bacteria that are making the cheese that we the eat? The good cheese. Definitely. Well. That's the idea behind the project. So this one in particular, this is made with bacteria that come from my mouth. But really and what I, it is, um, I, I, and I think it's, it's important to note that when the Brevi bacterium, for instance, that lives on our body mm -hmm. eats away our sweat, it smells a lot like when it's eating the sugars in the milk, right? Exactly. That's why it smells the same. That's why sometimes, <laughs> let's face it, we've all been there. You're right, Travis. You, know, you, like, you take <laughs> your socks off and you're like, Woo! <laughs> That's the same idea, right? Exactly. And, and so that, that similarity was really interesting to me and my collaborator, who's actually an odor artist. Um, she studies smells and body odors. Um, and we were interested in really kind of challenging that kind of disgust that we feel when the bacteria is, seems to be doing something that it's not supposed to be well, doing. Can you yeah. taste the these? I have not tasted these ones, as you can see, they're whole yes, cheeses, but, but I have tasted the cheese. cheese before, yeah. Does it taste just like the cheese It from tastes the just like regular cheese. That's the, that's the whole point of the project. Did but you have any diarrhea? No. Okay, I, <laughs> I had to ask. But the, 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 the idea behind this project is that it's not cheese for eating, really. This is cheese for thinking. It's okay. food for thought. Um, to think okay. about why bacteria can be good and a good part of our lives and part of our bodies and part of our food. Can I ask you a really quick question? When you, in your fridge right now, <laughs> do you have your own cheese in there that comes from your own body? Do you have like labels like science do project? You, to do eat? you make like Christina sandwiches? <clears throat> I don't make Christina, Christina sandwiches, but these were in my refrigerator this morning. <laughs> oh!